Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life Claw Hammer Banjo Lessons. And we are going to be learning both parts of the Irish Washerwoman. We learn double C tuning. I just played that part for you because we're going to work on that part first, but we will give you both the A and the B in this lesson. But I wanted to give you an idea of how this is going to sound. So we're going to start. And before we do, I need to thank my patrons uh, for their giving, for their help, for their support their support of me as a musician, their support of this program, their support of this type of music. And that is what they are doing is supporting traditional music and allowing it to be shared freely. In fact, if you're watching these lessons, if you're consuming these lessons, if you are learning from these lessons, it is only because there are those who are willing to give back and able to give back. Uh, and that is the only reason these lessons are free of charge Otherwise, they would be subscription. Otherwise, I would have to charge, which I've done in the past. And uh, you know, I just this is a growing need, and that's a route I don't want to take. And uh, so, thank you, patrons, for giving and for your help and for your support. So let's start the song, and I'm going to actually just teach you the bare bones melody. The embellishment is not hard, but I think it's important that you get the basic melody down first. So let's start with part A, double C tuning. You're gonna put your ring finger on five, five, three, two. Then you're gonna hit that second string twice. And you're gonna find that throughout the whole tune where you're hitting that second string and in part B, the third string twice. So five, three, two, second string twice, third string, second string twice. So. First string still holding with the uh, second fret, second string, first string, then five, three, two. So here's your first phrase. Not hard at all. And this is one of the tunes that you might want to work on your speed as you go. Remember, we do have to embellish it. Here's your second phrase. You're going to put your middle finger on the third fret of the first string and your pointer finger on the second string of the second, the second string, second fret. There we go. So <laughs> middle finger on the first string, third fret, index finger on the second string, second fret. So you're hitting the first string, second string twice, third string, second string twice. So then the first string, second string, third string, or first string. So just one, two, one from the beginning. First string, second string, first string, and then seven on the first string, five, three. So again. From the beginning. third phrase is identical to the first phrase without those two pickup notes. So you're going to start on the first string, second fret. So again, first string, second string, third string, second string, first string, second string, then five, three, two. So from the very beginning. Here's our 
last phrase, three, open, two, three, five, three, two, second string, three times. So from the beginning. So, how do we embellish this? It's not hard to embellish, and really what we're doing is where the timing allows, is we're gonna do a drop thumb. So our thumb's gonna hit the first, fifth string, and then the second string. And it's gonna be on the offbeat as a hesitation. So let's do this very slow. Just like that. And what that's replacing is hitting that note twice. Hope you got that. Let's do it again. Drop thumb. Drop thumb. Drop thumb. Drop thumb. Drop thumb. So there you have part A of the Irish washerwoman. So let's go to part B. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, go to part B until you have part A completely memorized and maybe even again work on the speed. Here's part B. You're going to start on the third string. I'm sorry, on the second string. Second string, second fret, or now you can do either. If you fret the second string at the second fret, it's the same as the first string open. So let's let's just hit the first string. So second string first, and then you're going to fret it at second fret, first string. And again, I'm just going to take you through this, but you're going to embellish it the same way. Third string, twice. Third string, second string, twice. Then the first string, second string, first string, first string. So. string open, second string. So that's your first phrase. For your second phrase, you're going to put your pointer finger down on the second string, second fret, and your ring finger on the third string, fourth fret. So you're hitting the second string, third string twice, and notice now that you're doubling on the third string, not the uh, second. Lift up the ring finger, play the third string open, put it back down, play it twice. So it's one more time. Then second string, third string, second string, second string, so we're going to switch here, so let's just do that again. Sorry. Slide that ring finger down to five, and then to four. And 
that's your second phrase. Probably the hardest phrase, it's not really difficult. So from the beginning. So your third phrase, you're going to move your pointer finger down to the third string, second fret, hit the second string open twice. So remember, third phrase, third string open, down to five on the fourth string with your ring finger, down to four. So we have this. Third string, second fret, third string open, then five, four, sorry, this is with the fourth string, five, four, five, two, two, second, uh, third string, five, four, open, open, open. So from the beginning, or sorry. So again, we embellish it the same way. So when we do that walk down, got to fix my nail there, sorry about that. So there you have Irish Washerwoman. A lot of fun to play. Get them up to speed. Put the two parts together. You're going to have a lot of fun with this one. So I hope these lessons are a help and a blessing. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on your next lesson.